morning commuters. Hi. The defense tried to make oh, Vespia look oh, like he was oh. out to get Jerry okay. from the beginning. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you know what that is? That is chapter six of a show called Crime Town. Uh, I guess every season they're going to go look at the crime in another town. And this season, they're in Providence, Rhode Island. It is fascinating. It's one of my new favorite podcasts. I know I say that all the time. They're all my favorite podcasts. Otherwise, I wouldn't be listening to them. So I'm telling you, you got to you. You have to listen to this podcast. It is fascinating. It's all, um, it's just fascinating. So you learn, um, there's this guy, Buddy Cienci. Well, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but I'm not Italian. I can't pronounce Italian names. And uh, he runs to be mayor of Providence. And he ends up getting mobbed up. Because the only way you're going to get anything done in Providence, Rhode Island, at this time, is to be mobbed up. It's not like, I'm sure it's not like that now. Um, so, if you have a commute, they're about um, 45, 50 minutes. Um, if you have a commute, this is, this is something you should listen to during your commute. Because what else are you doing? You can't watch me, I'm on a video. You look this, this, nice, huh? I got ice on my windows. I could write my name in here. Um, so yeah, so um, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so let's talk about people who don't know how to drive. People, 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 people. Let's talk about this. Just because there's a police officer on the highway doesn't mean I mean, I'm not talking about a cop with his lights on. That's different. That's different. Cop with his lights on, you know, move, slow down and move over. Okay. Uh, there's one right there in the middle of the road. And oh, there's a car that spun out. Oh, I hope he's okay. Anyway, here's here's the thing, people. Um, just because a cop is driving down the road doesn't mean you have to do 10 under the speed limit. I mean, let we get a little real here. You're doing 10 under the speed limit. The rest of us would like to make it to work. And you're doing 10. One guy, we're in a, we're in, a, excuse me, we're in a 70 mile an hour zone. This guy's doing 55. Well, I'm gonna stay behind that cop and then I won't get busted. You're not fooling anybody. He knows you speed. Who do you think you're fooling? He's the your no. Do the speed limit. I'm gonna do less than the speed limit. Why? Why? Cops doing 65 in a 70 zone. I pass him. Guess what happens? He waves at me. All right. He doesn't always wave at me. Sometimes he doesn't wave at me. Sometimes he does. But the point is. We're gonna take a different way. We're gonna take the downtown route because there's a, supposed to be a bad accident on, um, on 894. So I'm gonna take this route, go through downtown and cut over 94 to Madison and then go up. By the time you see this, it won't matter because if you are coming this way, the accident will be gone lane ends at 500 feet. Well, then I better be in a different lane at 500 feet. Anyway, people, could you start driving like normal human beings? <sighs> you know, no sense. No sense at all. Here's the kicker about coming toward the downtown area. You do your stop in here. Right here. In this little spur. I don't know what they call this spur. To tell you the truth. I want to be all the way over. To so, um, but you, you do your stopping here, but then you don't do your stopping on 894. So, um, this part, it's by Holt. Somebody, please, in the comments, tell me what this is. You know, when you're coming up, heading toward downtown, and there's Holt and Howard, I don't know what that is. They call that something. I don't know what they call it. Um, anyway, I, uh, 
Are you done shopping for Christmas? Are you done tired of, are you done with people asking you, are you done shopping for Christmas? You know, some people start on Thanksgiving. Not me, boy. Not me. No, 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 no. Let's talk about Christmas. I have four beautiful grandsons, as you all know. They live in, in Green Bay. Danny, Alex, Nicholas, and Tommy. That's also the name of my retirement package. Danny, Alex, Nicholas, and Tommy. Because someday I'm going to spend four months with each boy rotating throughout the years until I die. So, but this year, this year, Danny asked for A-N-K-I. Don't worry, they don't listen to this. They don't watch my podcast. This racetrack thing that you set up with two little cars, and you can control these cars, uh, I'm hoping, or with an app, I'm hoping it doesn't have to just be a phone app. That's awesome. I think that's awesome. I think it... I, it takes those little car racing games to a whole new level when you can on your phone and drive oh oh I probably should have bought an extra car because I have a feeling that Dustin's going to want to play that anyway then I bought um, Alex a Lego set you know uh, grandpa's going to give him the Lego set and I got him this uh, these this O-W-I these toy robots you can build and they're wired they're not wireless but they're wired oh no oh no 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 that's not good there's there's okay all right hang on there's somebody stopped and it's you know it's 11 degrees out here hang on hang on hang on hang on you guys okay okay all right Stay warm. All right. So, okay. So, um, anyway, and then I got Nikki and Tommy, two presents that match. And the reason I did this, you're thinking, why the hell would you do that, Julie? The reason I did this is because I had a feeling they'd fight over them. They're snap circuits. You put the little circuits. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I don't know who's more excited about Christmas. Nana or Du Bois? I have a feeling it's Nana. So Cheryl and I were talking about what we want for Christmas. And she goes, I'm looking at your list. You got one of those snap circuit toys on your list. Because I want one. But I want the one that you can make. It's 301. I don't think Cheryl's going to buy that for me for Christmas. Do you think Cheryl's going to buy that for me for Christmas? I have a feeling. But it's on a public list. And you know me. So, you know, if you want, it would be nice. Just saying. Anyway. Uh, that's my little thing for today. I had a couple other things, but you know what? We'll just put them off. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Let's all be good. Be safe out there on the road. Stay warm. Stay warm. It was, uh, nine degrees below zero. Or as I say, spring. All right. Have a good day, commuters.